I'm not an artist. This project's come out, out of an interest in the environment and I guess consumption as a, as a whole. We've separated everything out into hard, soft, all the different types of plastic. So not only by crisp packets or lids or pots, but also by the type of plastic. About 2% of this whole collection can be recycled. It's kind of staggering to think that of all of this material, most of it is kind of landfilled, incinerated, you know, ending up in the ocean. The Mural by the Sea Commission is an opportunity to communicate this to lots of different types of people. It's a huge billboard and it's going to be you know, really visually interesting, colourful and quite beautiful, but actually the underlying point is that this is human waste. I'm working with uh, Ollie, who's, a, who's an amazing photographer, going to lay it all out to the actual size of the billboard so you'll be able to see you know, a pack of hula hoops at actual size. Though it is a piece of art, it's, it's important that anyone, whether you have an artistic eye or interest or not, can actually engage with it. It just shows the reality of our production and consumption, but not through you know, the, the kind of statistics that we're, we're thrown at. Um, this isn't an abstract concept now. This is, this is one person's consumption with no access to recycling or no knowledge of what is actually recycled. I think this is the discussion that people are having now. You know, how quick it is to, to use, you know, a, a, a bag of crisps. It's working life is literally two minutes but then the bag lives on and outlives me and outlives my children and their children. Certainly the, the point of the project is to, to raise awareness. You know, we're not here to tell anyone off or preach or be earnest. There's no hidden agenda. This is just one person's yearly consumption of plastic.